Hi there, I'm back with day three of Crafting with Black and White, and today I'm joined by my dear friend Susanna. Uh, Susanna and I have known each other for a few years and been on teams together and even spent time together in real life, so I'm thrilled to have her joining me today. Today's layout is going to use a more subtle background paper, and it is a text print that is a dark gray, and I thought it would be nice to work with something a little more subtle than I have the last couple days and show you how I use that, as well as how I use some black elements in a layout. So today I am doing a layout about my son's first day of preschool, and the first thing I'm doing is adding in some patterned papers. These come from Doodlebug and Bella Boulevard, and they coordinate perfectly with his shirt, and that's why I chose them, and that's why I chose this whole color scheme. I love to base my product choices on colors within the picture. I know lots of people don't do that, but for me that's what works for my eye and so that's the direction I generally go. Um, I am using my laser square here to get my picture on there nice and straight, which is super helpful when I have my patterned papers all crooked. Definitely helps my eye get things on there correctly. And then I'm going to go ahead and start using a black element as I mentioned and that is my black pen. This is a black La Plume pen and it comes from SRM stickers. I love this pen. It doesn't bleed. It's got a nice fine tip and even bigger bonus I've managed to keep track of it for a really long time which is incredible for me because my kids are constantly raiding my scrapbooking room. The reason I am doing outlining is because I wanted more separation between the patterned papers. Um, sometimes when you include a lot of elements like this, it gets to be kind of smushed together, meshed together. There's just no distinction. And so by outlining, you can add in some separation. And I think that's a really nice and easy technique that just about anyone can incorporate. Um, you can use any black point, black fine tip pen to do that. One tip I do have for you though is to make sure that you try and plan and do it early on so that if you make a mistake you can cover it up. As I was outlining I did make a mistake. I went off the edge into that turquoise paper and so where I put the word new there is actually covering up that mistake. Now I'm not going to pretend like I always am planned ahead enough that I get my outlining done early but things like enamel dots and little stickers are really great for covering up any of those mistakes and so you know if you don't get it done early and you do get off course which inevitably happens to me on almost every layout, um, you can easily cover those things up. I am building my title today from a patterned paper from Doodlebug, and it's going to say every day is a new adventure, which I thought was perfect for a picture of a four-year-old sticking his tongue out. Um, this title comes from a really big 12 by 12 piece from Doodlebug that is meant to be kind of a wall sign and so I cut it out individually and I left a white border around each piece so that it will still pop on the paper and some of it is script font some of it is print and I turned them all into stickers so that it can easily add them onto the layout just like with a silhouette cut um, adding in little individual pieces can kind of be a pain. I like to use a sticker maker for that. I also like to use a glue stick or a glue pen. Um, just depending what I have on hand at that point in time is what I go for. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what new adhesives I can try with scrapbook adhesives by 3L. Um, I recently was chosen for their design team and so I'm looking forward to seeing what options work really well with them and that should be coming soon. Um, so as you can see, I lined up my whole title using that sticker maker, and I just basically went up by a half inch each time from the top of the thing I added, and then added my next line, and it worked really, really simply for that. It was great. 
if you watch any of my videos from like the last month, you're gonna see see this laser square making a regular, regular appearance. So now I decided I wanted to add a pop of color to the left side of the layout, so I'm adding some striped paper. This paper comes from Anchors Away from Doodlebug Design, and this was one of their spring releases from 2016. It obviously, Anchors Away, sounds like it has a sea water kind of theme to it, and I am not playing up that theme at all, but I just really like the color scheme and the way it coordinated with my son's shirt, and so that was why I went with several elements from that collection. I always love to incorporate stars on boy layouts, and so I am going to use my die cut machine and cut out some big stars, a couple different patterned papers that I use for that, and then I am going to do some more pen work here with my black pen that you will see. Um, to start with, I'm going to outline those stars. Now you're going to see in just a minute, when I outline this striped star just above the picture, it adds a great amount of separation that was lacking uh, before. And I love that it shows, like if you can see from the before and after that yellow on the yellow there, it just really makes that star pop so much better. And that is why I love this technique. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to use a little metal uh, uh, die cut to trace my star around the layout. And this was mostly because I had this black outline throughout. Now I want to add in some more black. And I recently did this with a white pen and really love the look of it. So I decided to try it with a black pen. And so I'm doing that throughout uh, that vertical area, building from the top and bottom of the layout, all surrounding his picture. And I love the look that it gave, but I also want to incorporate a little bit more black. And so I go ahead and doodle and fill in some of those stars, as you can see there. The last thing I'm going to do is just add on a border sticker, also from Doodlebug, to the left side, just to add a little separation in the patterned paper there. And that will be it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to show you a close-up shot of the layout. And don't forget, leave a comment here and on Susanna's blog to, for two entries into the giveaway today.